Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Save 10% on your next GoDaddy.com order by using the coupon code CHRIS. We've got a next call here. Hello. It's Aaron again. Hey, sorry about that. My uh, phone battery died. I was just wondering, have you um, heard yet of Adobe CS5 coming out? Have I heard of Adobe CS5 coming out? I have. And um, have you gotten any reviews on it yet? No, I don't. Uh, unfortunately, the program costs $4 million, so I can't afford it. And they haven't <laughs> sent any review copies along. How, how much does Adobe software cost these days? It's like uh, CS4 five... is 2500 Oh, 25 I... Twenty five hundred, four million. What's the difference? It's just God, out, so outrageously overpriced. Yeah. I, I can tell, no seriously. Yeah. Most of the photo editing I do these days uh, yeah. is inside of Google's Picasa, which is free, cross platform, Mac OS ten, Linux, and Windows, uh, and it does what I need it to do. I mean, I've used Photoshop Elements in the past, but even that seems to be a bit of a kludge, overkill. Uh, I have, however, seen. One feature inside of CS5 uh, that looks to be killer. Now, we've seen uh, the cloning tool, in, in, you know, in just about any photo editor where you could, let's say, if someone took a screenshot of what was happening with the video right now and they wanted to eliminate the iPad sitting up front, they could essentially right. click on one area of the curtain and then another area and then start, you know, erasing the iPad and it, just replacing it with the curtain. Uh, with CS5, they've tweaked that t to such an amazing degree, it looks magical. Like, right now, you would, it would be very painstaking because this object, to erase it, uh, you would have to essentially, you know, blend it into the curtain, but then I've also got this desk here, and then I've also got the shadow uh, running along. Uh, you know, where the, the iPad's sitting. I don't know if you can tell that with where chat was. But to get it to look like that, we'll just assume that the, the iPhone's not sitting there, uh, would be a, a bit difficult. Uh, but with CS5, they've made tweaks to the cloning tool, if that's what they're still calling it, uh, that would make th the disappearance of an object magical, right. just gone. Like, even even if it was sweeping across, I, I, I've seen a demo where they've made an entire tree disappear with a sweeping line of a sky in the morning. Uh, it was uh, really, it was, ma that was magical. And, uh, you know, I, I even tweeted this when I saw the, the video demo. I said, you know, I've never in my entire life wanted Photoshop. That feature just sold me. That one feature. Because I can't tell you how many times, you know, I've been in a photo where I didn't want to be in or I didn't want an object in it. And to eliminate that is I mean, just... you got to remember, the Creative Suites, it's not only Photoshop. I mean, great programs such as After Effects or, I don't know if Edition is still in it, but I know Soundbooth is. Those well, see, you know, and, and honestly, I, I think those are, they're outstanding apps, but Photoshop is the what leads the pack. If Photoshop and then everybody right. else comes along. Uh, Photoshop's the payload. And it's not to you know take away from from the other applications. Uh, it's just most people would be getting CS5 specifically for for that. And maybe maybe they're interested in After Effects too. Who knows? Uh, I've never been a big fan of Adobe's user interface. Uh, I do like what Adobe Air can do. Uh, the idea of cross-platform binaries. Uh, I do like that uh, with CS5 uh, there will be the ability for a developer to create an iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch app at the click of a button, um, right. specifically with with the tools that were you know built for that. Um, but I don't know. I think the era of, of uh, this kind of software is, is almost at an end. And don't get me wrong. I mean, like I said, I, I like what Adobe Air can do. I think it could do it better. But, you know, it, it works well. I like uh, Adobe Ideas on the iPad. I was just demonstrating that the other day. I've got nothing against Adobe. I don't think that Flash is the best piece of software out there right now. But, you know, I, I'm, so I don't want to make it sound like, you know, I, I just, I'm just i slagging on anything that Adobe does. But right. I do think that it, it could be just a bit more reasonable in price. And uh, if, if, if that isn't the case, I think they're just going to see the, their, their market share just getting slowly but surely eaten away by web-based applications. Uh, there's, have you've, you've likely seen Aviary, 
and what it can do. Uh, amazing web-based application. Uh, we're moving that direction, quite honestly. Uh, and, and uh, you know, I, uh, I, I think, if anything, what I think would be revolutionary is dropping the price. They won't do it, of course, because that's where they make a lion's share of revenue. But, you know, price is not what's going to separate them in the well, marketplace again, of entry. are losing every day more revenue from bootleggers and piraters. Of course. Of course. It, you know, Adobe's not going to be king forever. Price is the, it's just killer. And for a professional, you know, I understand. You got to pay the price to get the tools. Right. But let me put it to you this way. You know, I can either go with Lightroom to manage a digital photo library or I can go with Aperture on Mac OS X. And Apple knows what their platform can do. Uh, Apple has got a better price on Aperture than Adobe has with Lightroom. And it's a better application. It's just, it, it's better designed. It looks better. It runs better. It's more affordable. I mean, it's, yeah. it, you know, it, what Microsoft, hell, if they could play catch up, they're giving their expression tools away to yeah. play catch up to Adobe. So it's just going to be a matter of time before we see tools that are free or certainly, uh, you know, more cost effective overtake Adobe. I don't need After Effects. I have iMovie. Is it perfect? No. Do I use it all the time? No. Uh, I don't need Photoshop. I don't need these tools. Just don't. Especially at that price. If they come down to a more reasonable price, maybe I'd consider it. At this point, not a chance. Not a chance. Well, it depends about if you're like an advanced photo editor, you know. I mean, if you just want that regular Picasso, that's all really some people sure. just need. Sure, and, and, and that's – but the point is is that price is – it's only going to help them for so long. Yeah. Because I mean, I mean, cheaper, better tools will come along. revenue losing, they should at least like get a little price cut because, I mean, that's all partners are doing. Right. They're not going to pay 2500 for a piece and, of stuff. And I do not – just to clarify, I do not advocate piracy at all. Neither do I. Neither do I at all. I don't I'm advocate saying. it. I don't I don't like when people, you know, talk about it. Uh, you know, if anything, you know, you could work on a student discount if that's a possibility or, you know, figure out how to pay for it by taking on a client and, and, and paying for it that way. Uh, it, it's – if they had better software, I would be able to justify the pricing, but their software is not that amazing. It really isn't. It's it's replete with bugs, user interface inconsistencies on Windows and Mac OS X, and I'm just not willing to, to pay the price uh, to uh, to have a lackluster experience. If it's a good if it's a good experience, it'd be a different story. And like I said, you know I uh, I love Adobe Air and what it can do.